All right, how to change the timing on your injection pump of a 6.2 liter diesel. Um, the advantages of advancing it would be more power, easier to start. The advantages of retarding it, from what I've heard, are your motors last longer. I really can't prove that and I haven't found any substantial evidence for that. Um, some reliable sources who do that are the United States military. So, either which way, there you have it. You want to check where your timing is at currently. You look right here on your injection pump. This line here on the injection pump in relation to the line on the block right here is going to tell you where it's at. This one's advanced just a little bit, not too much, um, because it's on the driver's side. If it's on the passenger side, that means it's retarded. This one's not advanced very much at all. If you advance it too much, you're going to get a knock at idle. So if you're knocking at idle, you might want to look at this. So proper procedure. Number one, make sure the motor is off. Number two, you want to loosen your bolts. This is bolt number one. That's easy. That's bolt number two. That's bolt number three. It's going to take a 15 millimeter wrench, or if you want a socket, uh, you can get to the third bolt over the head. Let me see if I can get a good, yep, there we go. So that's my light sitting on the head, right there. You can see it goes straight down on there. So a wrench can get that, no problem, or a socket and a ratchet, it's up to you. So loosen the bolts, adjust your, adjust your pump. You can see where I've been beating on it, right there. That's, you know. So adjust it, tighten up your bolts. Last step, do not forget this. I'll disconnect this guy so you can get a better look at it. You gotta adjust your throttle screw, which is this guy right here. Do that again. Here's your throttle spring, your kickback spring. This is your throttle screw. I have mine so that it touches this rod. You can push your rod in and moves it about 50, 50 thousandths of an inch maybe 75,000 somewhere in there I live in Iowa it gets you know bitterly cold really hot works fine for me don't have any issues um, but it's your motor you you know it best don't follow what I do just because I did it figure out what works for you um, either which way if you have any questions let me know